hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i thought i'd do something a little bit not pregnancy related because i understand that some people don't care so today i am going to be doing a story time based off when i pooed myself in school yeah happens to some of us unfortunately but let's get straight into the video so i was in primary school so i wasn't a big kid don't judge me like i was actually quite young and i <laughs> i remember i was in the pe we was playing bench ball and then after it's like you know the ones where like you need to fart in class so you kind of like <laughs> you kind of let it come out bit by bit like you can you kind of squeeze your bum a little bit to make sure it's not you know like like <laughs> coming out completely crazy so i remember trying to do that right and i remember because i was standing right next to my friends and at the time my friends are like all white girls not that that means anything but it was just like i didn't want to be the black fighting girl like i don't know but anyway so yeah so they were standing next to me and i did you know fighting in primary school is embarrassing no one wants to fight in primary school so i remember just like trying to style out the fart so i'm doing it like small by small lot by little breaking up the fart or whatever why do I feel like warmth in my knickers? Yeah, I don't know what happened. PE was after lunch, so I'm assuming basically I might have just ate something and I wasn't really feeling too well. I don't remember there actually being anything wrong with me, but um, I remember it felt really warm and bitsy. So I was like, what the hell, what, what is going on? Like at the time, to be honest, I should really call this video um, when I diaried myself because really and truly that's what it was. But I didn't know what, I, I don't, I don't even know if I knew what diarrhea was at the time. Is that dumb? I don't know, but <laughs> I'm not sure. So basically all I remember was feeling like this warmth and being like, oh, okay, this is weird. I need to go to the toilet. So I remember going to ask my teacher if it was okay for me to go to the toilet. I went to the toilet and when I was in the toilet, it was just splatting everywhere. Like, bleh, bleh, bleh. like it was so disgusting and I didn't know what to do. And like, I was just like, oh my God. And the thing is, right, because I had been farting and trying to break it up or whatever, basically like it skid marked on my pants so i was just thinking oh i can't put these back on but oh i can't go out with no pants because if i go out with no pants what if i need to fart again and it comes out like my bum was just not controlling like itself it wasn't allowing me to control it it was just doing its own thing so i remember just being in that toilet for ages just Farting, like, and diary was coming out, like, just splatting in the toilet or whatever. And thank God it was last period because I was so embarrassed. Like, I didn't want any girl to come in the toilet. And one of my friends, did she go to check on me? Because obviously I was in the toilet for a good 20 minutes or whatever. So she came to check on me. And literally she came in the toilet like in the room like the toilet room not even in the cubicle in the room and she was just like Bleh, like <laughs> if you like live in london that noise in primary school like hearing someone go Bleh, like it was that means it's disgusting it's horrid it's horrendous like no one wants to be with you because you stink kind of thing and she was like tiffany are you okay and i was just like go get the teacher <laughs> because it was so embarrassing I couldn't tell her I pooed my pants so at least I had to tell her that you know go get the teacher so I can tell the teacher that I pooed my pants and hopefully she can sort something out because 
If I tell her, what if she goes and tells my other friends? Like, I couldn't do that. So, and I was a popular girl. Gosh. But, um, yeah, so she went to go get my teacher. And my teacher ended up coming out of the classroom and coming to the toilet. She was just like, Tiffany, are you okay or whatever? But the thing is, she came back with my friend. So my friend came back to the toilet and she was just like gagging and all this stuff and it, it just made me feel so much worse than what I already felt. The girl vomited. The girl vomited. Like after being in the toilet for like five minutes while the teacher was talking to me, the girl vomited in the sink from my diarrhea smell. I felt so... I felt bad, man. I felt so embarrassed to like... For one, I knew that I had pooed on my pants. No one else knew, but that already made me feel bad. For two, it was just like... I couldn't help... You know when you're, you have you know when you've done something and you just think everyone knows at the time that you've done something? So all I could help thinking is that people back in like the PE class, because obviously the boys are there and other girls are there, I'm just thinking, oh my God, they probably know. What if the girls said something? Like just... I imagine them speculating all these different things so I was just getting really really nervous and just like oh my god my life it's over I'm not gonna be a cool girl anymore no one's gonna want to chill with me I think I even had a boyfriend back then like and I think he was in my class and I was probably like in year year five yeah year four year five I was in year four year five one of the two but I was just thinking, oh my god. But then, yeah, she she vomited. And I, just, I just felt so pooey. Like, literally pooey. But all I remember is the teacher just being like, don't worry, Tiffany. We'll fix it. We'll get it sorted. And I just kind of remember being like, don't tell anyone, please. Like, <laughs> oh gosh. But um, she was like, no, I'm not gonna tell anyone. So I remember we went to reception. Somehow reception had spare knickers. I think I had to buy them for like 20p. Which when you think about it, it's a bit of a bump. Like the kid just pooed herself. Like, and then you wanna charge her for, for knickers, new knickers. What if I didn't even have 20p? How would I pay for my knickers? It, considering it was after lunch. But yeah. I bought some new knickers, I went into class, I put on my clothes, it's weird because when I think back we didn't have a change room so everyone kind of got changed in like two parts of the classroom so obviously no one was there so I took off my poo poo pants and I put on these brand new knickers and I waited for someone to come pick me up because obviously I guess diary is contagious and they didn't want me like messing up any of the other kids or making any other kids vomit so yeah it was a really embarrassing story I mean I'll never forget it I'm 21 years of age I don't know how old you are in year four year five you're quite young but I still remember it till this day and I remember it to the day I die like it was the fact that I couldn't control my bum my bum was controlling me. It wasn't stopping at all. Oh, it was horrible. So that's my embarrassing story time, guys. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to share it. And if you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and press the bell because you'll get notified about all my videos. I'll probably be back with a another pregnancy video I'm sorry for the people that don't care but it is kind of my life my vlog my YouTube channel is about my life lifestyle so this is what's going on with me so yeah but thank you for watching and I'll see you soon bye